Open Heavens on the Go. Friday, February 18th, 2022. Topic, you can move that mountain. One, memory verse, Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Bible reading, Mark 11, 22 to 26. And Jesus answering saith unto them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. The Message from the context of our Bible reading today, we will describe mountains as structures or objects purposely designed to impede movement, interfere with communication, prevent understanding, and ultimately obstruct progress. To obstruct in this regard is to oppose, disturb, attack, pull down, work against, or constitute a barrier to the success of an individual or project. Some objects used in the Bible to represent mountains include barriers, gates, walls, poverty, sickness, slavery, sieges, and imprisonment. All the examples mentioned here exist in physical and spiritual dimensions but spiritual mountains are much more difficult to overcome. Therefore, those who are held bound by any or a combination of two or more of these factors would find it extremely difficult to succeed in life. Anyone suffering from any such obstruction has his or her life characterized by hardship, time wasting, stagnancy, barrenness, fruitless efforts, procrastination, and failure. These conditions have consistently proven insurmountable by human efforts, but Mark 10.27 says, And Jesus, looking upon them, saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. I pray that every mountain in your life shall be moved today in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew 17, 20 says, For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Therefore, Faith is required to move a mountain, be it of sin, poverty, or sickness. My daddy is the creator of heaven and the earth. All power in heaven and on earth belongs to him. He is greater than the greatest. He is the almighty. Therefore, his ability to move mountains and destroy barriers in your life is not in doubt. Zechariah 4.7 says, who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain. Furthermore, 
God has ordained and empowered his anointing as a means of destroying barriers and yokes of all dimensions, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Beloved, you can move any mountain blocking your path to greatness if you surrender your life to Jesus Christ and put all your faith in him. Prayer point. Father, please move every mountain and destroy every yoke in my life today in Jesus' name. Father, please move every mountain and destroy every yoke in my life today in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. Numbers 21 to 23. Hymn for today. Conquerors and overcomers, now are we. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.